Ciao, I'm Francesco Gola and I'm a seascape photographer from Italy. I'm an engineer, but I'm in love with photography since ever. For me, photography started to be more than a hobby about 15 years ago. And since then, I love to travel to capture the beauty of this world with my camera. My favorite subject is the sea and uh, I'm in love with the technique uh, of uh, long exposure. I'm also very passionate and committed to education. That's why I run a workshop and seminar about photography, printing and uh, color management. I very well remember my first uh, photographic adventure and uh, probably because it was the first one. It was a particular moment in my life where I felt the need to have a sort of solo trip. And I don't know where, but uh, I found this uh, beautiful image of this lighthouse in a remote island in Scotland. And so I decided to go there to capture it with a picture. I must say that it was the first step out of my comfort zone and that's probably why it's still the best adventure that I had. And it was a challenge because at that time it was impossible to find online where to uh, maybe to book a place where to stay there for the night or even just to buy online the ticket of the ferry. So it was uh, really, really a challenge. But uh, actually I learned a lot from this trip uh, from a personal point of view and uh, from that moment, I think that I really became addicted to this kind of experience. I think that what I enjoy most of being a landscape photographer is the contact with nature. I really love to stay out in the field and maybe just to stay seated on the grass waiting the right moment to take my picture. And this is due also because, of course, I love to explore new places, I love to meet new persons, and I love to understand new cultures. So everything is enriching me. And I think it's good because this opens your mind. And this will be, of course, reflected in your images. So I think this is definitely the best part of being a landscape photographer. Well, I think that Without me to run photography, I would probably be a completely different person. Uh, probably I will be just a very analytic and boring engineer, but I'm lucky because uh, nature is part of my life since ever, since my childhood, because I grew up in a small uh, countryside village, so I was always in contact with nature. I, I would say that photography taught me how to see things with different eyes. And um, there is a quote that says that it's not what you look at that matters, but uh, it's what you see. And I really couldn't be more agree with that, because uh, photography gave me really new eyes to see the world and to express myself. I would describe my shooting style like uh, meditative because uh, I'm not the kind of photographer that when he's out shooting want to get like 100 shots. I just want one, one composition. Because to me, uh, the most important part is to connect with the environment that is around me. So usually I look for a composition and then I set my tripod, I set my camera, and, and at the end I, I spend the whole shooting in the same spot. I think that long exposure is helping a lot in this. So basically, uh, you leave the shutter of your camera open for a few seconds, even two minutes. So it's really love to slow down and to enjoy the small things. Long exposure became my signature in CSK photography for basically a simple reason. Um, because in photography I've always looked for a sort of shelter from the frenzy of the modern life. And, and so, basically, long exposure, they became the perfect tool to slow down everything. Uh, to me, a long exposure is almost like a parallel universe, where time and space became, at the end, the same thing. And it's so fascinating to me, because at the end, you are not just freezing one single moment, but you are collecting time. So I would say that I love a long exposure because uh, they let me make visible what is invisible. And this is just great to me.
I really love to use this limited amount of time to just to focus on uh, what I have around me, on the environment, on uh, the small things. Uh, this is very relaxing and uh, I think that uh, to me is a sort of therapy. You may have standard, for example, if you uh, are referring to technical aspects, so maybe the composition is not working or the picture is out of focus. In that case, of course, uh, maybe uh, you, you know immediately if a picture is good or not. But the idea that is behind my picture is that I want to communicate something. So it's never to show my technical skill. And what I want to communicate usually are my feelings and my emotion. And uh, so uh, basically I really realize when a picture is good in the moment when I see it on my screen. Because if I start to have goosebump, it means that I really was able to transfer something that I was feeling, something that was inside of me in a, in a picture. And so I can share that emotion and that feeling with somebody else. I'm very lucky of being a landscape photographer because uh, in this way I had the chance to, to visit so many places like uh, Iceland with these endless black beaches or Scotland with these beautiful lighthouses or even the coast of France that is so fascinating to me. But I have to say that I have a very special connection with the northwest coast of Italy and this is because it's there that everything for me started. In this place, I started to understand the power uh, of photography, of the possibility that photography gives to you in terms of expression. And I started to experiment my techniques and so the long exposure. It's definitely my happy place. I love to go there, even not to take pictures, but just to go there to sit in front of the sea and maybe to read a book and just to think about the world and the universe. If I have to pick one, probably I will pick a picture taken in Iceland. I have different reasons for that. First of all, because it was a, a wonderful trip with uh, some great friends. And uh, it was not a so lucky trip because we were uh, really unlucky with the weather. And this picture was taken on the very last day. We were heading to the airport in another rainy day of the week. But then suddenly uh, we, we understood that something on the sky was changing. And so we decided to head to the coast in a spot nearby that uh, we knew about that. And, and then we had in front of us this amazing uh, landscape. So to me, uh, it was just great because it, it probably was the first time I felt so connected with nature. I really had the feeling of being suspended in time and space. So the idea that uh, I, I want always to represent with my images. The reason is that the, the images, every picture to me uh, is more than the representation of the reality. Uh, to me, they, they are like a tool to travel back in time. So every time I, I see this picture, uh, of course, I, I think about the beautiful uh, adventure I had with these friends, but uh, I also think about this unique feeling that I had on that day. I think that sometimes staying motivated and inspired uh, is really hard for a photographer, not just for a landscape photographer. And I think that the reason is that uh, we can easily fall in the trap of the over-expectation and the over-self-criticism. And this is due probably to the bad influence that we have from social media, where you are forced to overdo things. For example, to repeat things over and over, in the pursuit of the perfectionism that of course doesn't exist is a self-destructive process at the end. So after years I learned that at least for me my personal way to avoid this is to try to set new challenges. So for example I try to look for new locations that maybe I don't even know how to reach them or if there will be uh, during the year a perfect moment to go there to take a picture or I try to experiment new things also in terms of technique because there are so many things that you can try with long exposure. So this is my way to stay motivated and inspired.
I have to say that it was not photography that let me connect with nature. Uh, I can say that photography let me explore nature and my relationship with it. To me, nature it was uh, like a drug that is able to slow me down, that is able to slow my mind down. I can really focus on the important things. And that's the reason why I love to uh, maybe go on the field uh, even two hours before the expected shooting time. So just to enjoy staying seated on the grass, maybe to read a book and just to feel the, the sun on my face or the breeze of the wind on my skin. Uh, it's really important because uh, it let me see details. And at the end, photography uh, let me communicate these uh, feelings with other people. So that's the real power of photography to me. Well, at the beginning, I got a lot of inspiration from classic photographer. I would say, for example, Michael Kenna, that I can still consider the father of uh, long exposure, or Sebastião Salgado, that was so inspiring in terms of exploring the world and taking beautiful pictures. But I have to say that more recently, the inspiration is coming more from classic painter, more than photographer. One of my favorites is Ivan Ivazowski. I would say obsessed with the sea, translucent wave that I try to, to get uh, in the same way with my, my camera. Or for example, William Turner that was an absolutely master with light and I can learn so many things every time I, I just watch at his paintings. And, or for example, uh, Vincent van Gogh that to me he was the really true master of color because he was able to transform uh, the pain of his tormented lie into ecstatic beauty. Nowadays, I find a lot of inspiration also from a uh, uh, contemporary photographer that I maybe find just scrolling my feed on Instagram, for example. And the best part of that uh, is that you, you can connect with such people and you can learn some interesting thing that they will affect for sure uh, your, uh, your work and in a positive way. In terms of gear, uh, I really love to travel very light and this is mainly for two reasons. The first one is because uh, sometimes you are required to hike and so you definitely don't want to, uh, to have a heavy backpack on your back to hike for some kilometer. And then uh, the second reason is for the paradox of choice. So more gear you have, more complicated it will be to choose among the, the things that you have in your backpack. So for this reason, I, I carried me only two lenses, two prime lenses, an 18mm and a 21mm, uh, one camera body, uh, a very sturdy tripod and uh, my filter bag that are my tools to create uh, long exposures on the field. Moreover, I always bring with me uh, a nice book and some good music because uh, to me music and books are like a gear. Uh, it's formally a gear to me because uh, they can affect my mood. And if you affect your mood, you will affect your picture. So uh, you have always to consider that when you are um, packing your, uh, your backpack. It's never easy, especially uh, because uh, maybe you plan your trip months ahead. So it's impossible to know months ahead uh, what will be the weather on the same day of the shooting. Um, but you have to accept the fact that you can't control the weather, but you can adapt to the weather. You can take decision according to the weather. And to do that, my suggestion is to take advantage of the technology. So try to use an uh, application, website, that give you real time and a very specific uh, weather forecast and uh, weather model in order to take the right decision. And in this way, you can uh, for sure take the right decision. I agree with the fact that when you, when you take a picture, uh, you put not only what you have in front of you in it, but even more what is inside of you. And uh, you can influence the emotional result of your picture if you influence the environment around you, in my opinion. And that's the reason why uh, when I'm out shooting, I love to bring with me a nice book and uh, I read a couple of pages or uh, I try to listen some good music, some classical music, or I take some moment to think about my beloved ones. 
because I know that I can bring them inside of my picture. And if I'm able to do that, I will affect for sure in a positive way my image.